Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Friday, the 2nd of February 2018. Just wanted to go through a quick setup video for a potential long swing trade. Uh, this has come from our signal service today. Our members click on these images here for both long and shorts and download the spreadsheet for potential trades on the weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frame. So let's have a look at the daily time frame for longs today because we've had these pullbacks this week and there potentially is quite a lot you see this is the, the spreadsheet for today there's quite a lot of potential long trades on the daily time frame so I'm, I've picked WRD down here at the bottom so let's have a look at the chart okay so for this I'm using our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the ninja trader version but it also is available for think or swim trade station and multi charts First, I want to talk about the wave for pullback. Uh, it's pulled back into our amber zone. Yesterday's daily bar was green um, against the previous day's red bar. We've got a bit of a bullish army forming there. The main thing is we've pulled back into our amber zone. That's 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone here. Also on the scanner, we filter out those potential trades on the 535 oscillator that have pulled back between 19 and 140%. So we're just inside that now. So this may consolidate before it moves higher. So it just shows, goes to show that we're, these scan results in this membership do come in quite early. Uh, so we're, we're looking at early on potential trades here. The stochastics in the oversold zone, but not crossed over yet. If we do turn north today, we can see that uh, crossing over. So also we can see on our software we get the automatic wave count for earlier wave so let's just zoom out a just a quick bit there just to show you how i've set this up okay so so basically we've had this range bound period along the bottom here i've isolated our wave count from these lows before we started on the main trend here okay so we've got a few bits of uh, you know corrections there and then we really start to move We've got the wave one to the wave three and now the wave four pullback and we're looking to trade the fifth wave so let's zoom in again and look at the setup for entry and stop loss so this is quite simple once the wave force pull back into one of our pullback zones we look for that support to happen then start to move away from that support zone our six four moving average high the green moving average here is our entry strategy so we wait to go outside of that so for today's bar position for friday's bar position you can see here where we just got where we out of there six four moving average at 1933 so that's our entry for long now if it doesn't trigger today i would probably leave that entry for monday's bar position and maybe tuesday's um, if we still don't trigger and we still don't get out of the 6-4 moving average, you can see that's going to be moving down slightly. We have got a further resistance level here. So potentially towards the middle of next week, if this stays pretty range bound, we'd look to lower that entry level to get a better risk reward. But as it is at the moment, with the stop loss just below the wave 4 low there, about 1752 or something like that, uh, and the entry at 1933 we've got a risk to reward of one to two into our target zone targets around about 2270 so great risk reward there um, simple setup from our signals uh, membership and then I've used our uh, Elliott Wave indicator suite for Ninja Trader but it is available for Think or Swim Trade Station and now just out for multi charts so have a great trading day and a great weekend